And here is Mike Puma. He covers his team, does it for a long time and well uh, for the New York Post. And he says, hello, Michael, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Uh, I do think at the end of the day that we're going to look back in two weeks and think that Wednesday uh, development, Mets, Marlins, Trail, bounce back and win. Nationals hold off the Braves in 10 innings. I think that might be the deciding scenario here in the NL East, despite what might happen this weekend. What's your take on that? Go ahead. Yeah, you might be right about that. You look at about 9.30 Wednesday night, and, you know, the Mets are battling there. Now, they they had fallen behind 4 nothing in that game. We're showing nothing offensively. And to, to scrap back the way they did and then to have uh, the Washington-Atlanta game go the way it did, that, that was a huge swing, as you mentioned, coming into this series. That sure was. I guess the catcher's going to DH tonight. Mets have had trouble yep. against left-hand pitching. Down the road, Dodgers have nothing but lefties and free tonight. So is this sort of a one-day trial? I know he hit one in Syracuse. Mike, give me some thoughts on that for a sec. Let me hear. Yeah, I, I think they're bringing him here to play. I, it may be more than just to get against lefties here. Now, the, the Mets have struggled um, against left-handed pitching. They, they need the right-handed bat. You know, they had uh, both Darren Ruff and Mark Vientos kind of uh, splitting some time and dh and right field and the, the thing that's that's really hurting right now is not having starling Marte, who's uh been out the last three and a half weeks with with the broken right middle finger that takes a big right-handed bat out of that lineup and they haven't been able to replace it uh alvarez hit well down at triple a he, he's very uh highly regarded puts the ball in play hits for power we'll see how he uh handles the tension of a pennant race for his first game and you make an excellent point about Marte. I mean, listen, it doesn't sound like he's even going to be back uh, for a first-round playoff series. I mean, uh, based on what we heard the other day, Mike, you follow it much better than I do, but I'm not sure if he's ready to swing a bat or even throw a ball. So I think Marte is still a ways away. You don't heal broken fingers in three weeks. What's your take on that? Let me hear. Yeah, I, I don't think you can bank on Marte at, at this point. He, he's not even – he's not – really doing any baseball activities. I know he's keeping his legs strong by running and doing that stuff, but he can't grip a bat. He can't uh, throw a ball right now. Uh, you can't count on him for the playoffs. You, you have to go forward as if you're not going to have him. DeGrom tonight, bad performance on Saturday, a hiccup. What did you see Saturday in Oakland? Anything that concerned you for DeGrom tonight? You know, I think the walks, his his location was off a little bit. Listen, it was, he was due for a clunker, right? It had been uh, four seasons since he had given up uh, more than three earned runs in the start. Uh, went out to Oakland, got hit around a little bit. That You know, that that was, you know, you talk about a jarring loss. I think that, that was one of them there when you get up 3 nothing in the first inning with DeGrom on the mound. You feel like it's money in the bank. Uh, you know, he was hard on himself a little bit afterwards, but – you certainly would expect this guy to get back on track. And, you know, I was talking to him a little bit the other day, and he, he he's pretty pumped up for this game, and you, you can you can see yeah, it. Yeah, big game, uh, big game. And I tell you, too, I, I like the Met karma, Mike. I, I, you know me, with the karma, the way they've won games all year, even Escobar, sort of symbolic of that the other day with the five RBIs. I just think that the Mets have had that little quotient that you look for with, with some magic with teams. Plus, Bucks owed a few from the baseball gods. And I just think that bodes well for them here in this postseason. Of course, they got to win the division. But I do think it bodes well for them. The way they have played, the way they've won weird games all year. How about that for a sec? Let me hear. Yeah, and, you know, that's the thing with, with this lineup. You have a lineup that puts the ball in play, uh, doesn't strike out a ton. And you, you can have those kind of rallies like we saw Wednesday night against Miami when they came back from the four runs down. Now, you talk about this weekend, I think your goal, if you're, you're the Mets this weekend, is just don't get swept. You know, get you get out of here with one victory and you, you, you own the tiebreaker and you still control your own fate uh, going back to New York for those games against Washington. So if you're the Mets, uh, you win one game, you're you're in solid shape here. And if you win two, you're in really good shape. 100% right. Uh, you and I are on the same page there. They move the pitching rotation, I would think, 
uh, the way they did it here because it was supposed to be Bassett, right? But they changed the rotation, Mike, I would think, to line themselves up in postseason to have DeGrom go one and Scherzer go two. Uh, what's your take about the rotation this weekend and how it bodes down the road when they get into postseason play? Well, I think one thing they were looking at even before postseason with DeGrom pitching tonight now if that Wednesday game against Washington means something to regular season finale, you could send DeGrom out there to pitch on, on regular rest by pitching him tonight. So now the gamble of that is, is if you pitch him there and the Mets uh, lose and have to play the wild card round, you may not have Jacob DeGrom for the wild card round. So that's kind of the gamble if, if you go that route. But uh, they at least have the option by pitching to Grom tonight, of, of pitching him Wednesday in the regular season finale. Boy, that would be oh, how ironic would that be? One up, uh, tied going into Wednesday, he loses somehow, and then they don't have him in the wild card round against San Diego. That would be typical Mets. Let's not think that way. Mike, great job. <laughs> Keep in touch. Thanks for a few minutes here today. Always appreciate it. All right, Chris, you take care.